Hello, in this video I'll be showing you how to make a percent histogram. I'll be doing this on the retail sales time series data and ordinarily we know that it's a risky business to make cross-sectional displays on time series data because it ignores patterns over time. But we'll do so anyway. So what I'll do is take this sales data in billions of dollars, copy it, and paste it in a blank worksheet right here. And let's sort it from smallest to largest so that way I'm in that respect I'm losing my time aspect but uh, since I'm doing a cross-sectional display anyway it doesn't matter okay so I did a quick sort and I see the data ranges from 248 billion up through 409 billion I'll make a bin column and uh, there's 66 observations of data if I follow the guideline, uh, use about the square root of n number of bins or class intervals, then that would make about 8. Uh, so I might have to do a little trial and error here. I need my first bin to be at least as large as the smallest value. I'm going to start at uh, 260. And then uh, let's go up by 40s and see how that turns out. Okay. So since the largest was 409, I only have seven bins here, and I'm way above that. So let's go up by um, 30s, I guess, instead. Still too large. Let's go up by 20s. So a little trial and error. That's okay. And I'll have to go one extra bin than I wanted, perhaps. Uh, there's nine bins here. That's okay. Um, okay, let's go data. Data analysis. Histogram. Press OK. Input range is sales. Bin range I've created is right there. Labels in the first row. Output range. Let's show that right here. And I want to see a chart. The actual histogram. Press OK. And this is what I got. Um, okay. So uh, we'll clean this up a bit, stretch out this graph. I don't need this frequency legend. I'll click on it once, delete. Right click anywhere on the bars, format data series. Let's change the gap width to zero. Fill, no fill, border color, solid line. Let's make that black. Press OK. OK, I don't need this more category, so I'll delete it over here. Select these two uh, cells, right click, delete, shift the cells up and the more category is gone from the graph at the same time. Okay, I want to uh, I'll move this graph over a little bit and let's create a percent column. And I know there's 66 observations. If you forgot, you can do a sum here. Equals sum and the sum of the frequencies, 66. So let's take equal this cell divided by 66 and convert it to a percent. Go to the Home tab, percent. Let's show one decimal place of accuracy. Double click the lower right corner and uh, we can see the percents are calculated correctly. Okay, um, so in addition to making a percent histogram, I would like to correct the axis, the x-axis. So let's do that. I need to create a column of midpoints. I'll right click on the E, Insert, and then uh, let's call this midpoint. And the midpoint of this first interval is actually 250 because I know this 260 is the right upper boundary of each of the, of the, the rectangle. So the first midpoint is 250. The second one must be 270. We're going up by 20s. Double click the lower right corner and I've got my midpoints. Let's swap these midpoints in for these uh, bin points here. Right click anywhere on the graph, select data, and go to the horizontal category axis labels. Select edit, and then just select those midpoint values. Press OK, press OK, and it's done. I also want to change the Y axis, so I uh, right click anywhere in the graph, select data, click on the frequency uh, series and edit, and we are going to just change the values from these frequencies to these percents. Click on this icon, 
select the percents, click on the icon, press OK, press OK, and that's good. And we let's edit a little bit more. Uh, first of all, this are not this is not frequency anymore. So click on it. And let's rename the uh, y-axis label to percent. Let's right-click on the y-axis, format axis. Let's go up to 0.3 by increments of 0.1. And number, let's get rid of that excess decimal place. So change that to zero. And that's pretty good. And we're almost done. Click on the bin, click on it again. These are really uh, the retail sales values. And the title, click on that, histogram of US retail sales in billions um, January 01 through June 06. Big title, so I'll shrink that and I'll put a cap there. Okay, go to the Home tab. Let's change the font to 11 and uh, I'll stretch out my graph just a little bit here. And now my title is better. And I'll make a boundary on the inside graph area. Right click, format plot area, border color, solid line, medium gray. And the outside boundary I'll get rid of. Right click, format chart area, border color, no line. OK, so this is a decent looking histogram. And uh, I see it's a little bit skewed to the right. Um, and remember, this is. Uh, ignoring time. So we have lost all time aspect, the upward trend, and the seasonality. That's it.